Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today I want to talk about a issue that's been going on for quite some time now. Um, and the cryptocurrency space has been proving itself as a solution to many of these issues. Many of us have heard about the crisis in Venezuela, hyperinflation. And the problems, what happens when a currency is hyperinflated how the cost of living can become um, or so high uh, in comparison to what you're earning as your money becomes worthless uh, that it becomes difficult to live the countries on the brink of collapse economically. So Electronium being a great community that it is, it's kind of some of some of the major uh, Electronium uh, YouTubers have started to talk about the situation in, in Venezuela and bring awareness to it. And I think that's very noble. And I think that we should be bringing awareness to Venezuela. Absolutely. And I do think the cryptocurrency area is an area that can provide really good ways for but I also want to just bring to you all its, all its attention that it's not just Venezuela it's also Colombia uh, there are countries in Africa that are hyperinflated and where the currencies rather and cryptocurrency is a solution to them in many countries that currencies uh, have undergone uh, these changes so, generally, when people are in, uh, see people suffering in other nations and in other places, it's very human and it's very neighborly to want to reach out and help each other. And there are communities, there are tokens that have been doing that. I believe Digibyte is one. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dogecoin may have had some involvement with that as well and they have started these type of um, drives where they uh, introduce these communities to cryptocurrencies teach them how to use it and various things like that and so Electronium works as one of the best use cases for that right now I think but the problem I'm seeing uh, is that when we talk about the awareness of it uh, I'm starting to think that these, these uh, the nations, the people undergoing these various changes, whereas some of them understand cryptocurrency, they are mining various cryptocurrencies, uh, especially in countries and nations like Venezuela, where a lot of the electricity has been subsidized to the point it's almost free. So you can pretty much almost mine uh, cryptocurrencies without electricity. But, you know, obviously there are other things, food, medicine, and, and, and uh, a lot of uh, many other issues that, that are making it very difficult to live and function. But as I look over these reports, the Venezuelan boulevards that they receive monthly, which range from like, seems to be around 30 to, 30 to $40 USD. And, uh, you know, in some cases, these people are living... Uh, food money is barely like seven uh, accounted for about seven dollars per month um, you know when we think about what the ETN mighty electronic miner is is bringing uh, bringing people in per month that could be a significant uh, amount of, uh, of of income going to the Venezuelan people and yet when we when I look at the ETM miner, the electronic miner, uh, the week before, I think we had like 120,000 people. I think I looked the day it was only 150,000 miners. And the assumption there is they aren't aware that they can just turn on their, their mobile devices and earn those extra three bucks a, a month. Now, with a lot of good news that is happening with Electronium uh, as of late, 
uh, I would expect that within 30 days, that $3 could be as high as maybe $6 per month, just, just my opinion. Uh, but I think that's very possible. And think about when you're when you're living off 30, 40 bucks a month, when you probably have a, a monthly food budget of about seven dollars per month. Just think about what uh, an extra three to six bucks a month would be able to do for you. And so I guess what I'm saying in short, guys, is. Whereas. Any way we can help these hyperinflated countries, whether it be Venezuela or Colombia or Zimbabwe or, or or some country in Europe that maybe is suffering from some type of hyperinflation or just a bad economy, uh, similar to this, is uh, awareness that Electronomy is giving out this money that to us is you know pennies on a dollar three three bucks a month is nothing but like, like i said um the price of electronium how it's moving upwards i can see electronium hitting two cents within the next month or so and if um you know electronium starts to really gain in price we could ever see 20 cents again uh just think about how much that would be dollar value to these people, you know, you could be looking at about 30, 60 bucks per month, which would, uh, which would be uh, more than their entire minimum monthly minimum wage as it's being paid right now. So uh, you, I think that whereas we do need to take the steps to get people aware of Electronium, we do need to have drives in these countries like what they're doing already with Digibyte and, and some of the other tokens. Um, perhaps Litecoin. <clears throat> I haven't really uh, researched, th you know, thoroughly who's uh, been going into these cities and trying to introduce these people into cryptocurrency. But I do know there has been. Uh, I've read uh, an article about uh, many of the Venezuelans being able to take advantage of the hyperinflation with the Bitcoin mining and the subsidized electricity. And uh, so. As many tokens that can get into these regions, introducing them into cryptocurrency and donations being made to help them, I think would, would be welcome. But whereas, you know, many of us uh, who may see this uh, as a situation that can be overwhelming and too large, generally what, what can happen is people will look at a situation and it's it can seem so large if you approach it in the whole that it's only until you step back and start to compartmentalize it and see what little can be done in this area to to uh, eventually help to solve the problem, right? And so I guess in short what I'm saying that every little bit helps what we do. And I think the electronic miner if it reaches its, its full potential, it can help many of these countries that are hyperinflated a great deal if we only marketed it and brought attention to them. And I think that's probably majorly the only place we're failing right now is the marketing aspect of Electronium. And if we really start to roll out the marketing uh, and if we start to... Uh, you know, bring awareness to these uh, hyperinflated uh, countries because if we really look at it, this is pretty much electron a, a big part of electronium stick, right? And that's to help the unbanked, but also to help these people in these hyperinflated countries that are really going to need uh, cryptocurrencies like electronium. So what I'm saying is, the other week I looked at the the electronic miners only 120,000 people mining it. You know, although we have over 2 million registered users, percentage wise, that doesn't sound that bad to me. Uh, if we got over 2 million registered users, let's say we got at least 10 percent of people running the, the electronic miner, puts us somewhere around 200,000 people. And, um, um, and, um, what that does is, you know, that's a pretty good percentage of the registered users and people involved in electronic, but let's, um, 
And this article is talking about uh, 5 million boulevards, as you can see up here. And that, that only comes to about 30, 40 bucks a month, guys. So you can just see how terrible it's hyperinflated. But, um, you know, and it's sad to see this uh, Venezuela being this oil rich country, one of the richest nations in South America. Um, and having to go through this. And I've, I've spoken, I've been friends with the uh, Venezuelan community on Steemit. And there have been uh, awareness uh, in the Steemit community to help Venezuela to certain degrees. But, um, you know, getting back to Electronium as well, uh, Electronium is giving out this free money through the, the, the Electronium Miner now. It is true in the West. If you're only getting like three bucks a month, you can't really pay anything with that. Uh, I might have one bill, I think that's around five bucks a month, some type of service bill that I pay. And I'm surprised it's that low. And the electronic miner, for the amount, you know, for what it does, it can almost take care of that. And that's about it for me. So uh, the electronic miners is, 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 is a great idea for marketing, but it's not going to, if you're in the West, it's not going to, uh, you know, do anything, you know, economically to, to help you in any way. In that regard, pretty much, unless, you know, Electronium just, you know, uh, rose significantly in value, like, like what we're hoping and expecting it will do. But getting back to these hyperinflated nations, the ones that have the subs subsidized electricity, various things like that. Uh, uh, my assumption is they aren't aware of opportunities like Electronium. And the, the reason that they aren't aware is because we aren't telling them. We aren't marketing it to them. We aren't ha holding workshops for them like some other tokens have started to do. So what I'm saying, guys, is if we found a way to do that, to create these workshops, to go over there, teach people about Electronium, donate Electronium to them, get them using the Electronium miner that uh, monthly value-wise uh, accounts for a large portion of their monthly income, which means it would be very it would be very uh, significant to them. If we were to just do that, guys, I think that that would be great for these people and these, these nations and for Electronium and this goal is going for to, to, to really be the standard for dealing with these countries that are unbanked and, and have trouble in their, in their money supply, right? Um... And I, and I think that would help move things along a, a great deal forward. But we have to bring awareness. We have to let people know that's what's, what's uh, going on uh, in these countries and nations. And when we look at the electronium miner and we only see 120, 150,000 people actually using it, you know, we should see millions of people using it. And I don't know how many tokens have been set aside for this, guys. I really, I really don't know that. But... If the value of electronium rises in comparison to that through the global wide appeal of electronium and what electronium is doing, and if electronium can become the standard to help push these things forward, uh, you know, maybe it won't matter so much how many tokens that are left as long as the value of electronium rises fairly well in comparison to them. So that's just something to think about, guys. Um, you know, of course, everybody wants to help. Um, you know, of course, it's, it, you know, Venezuela is the highlighted country right now, and our heart goes out to them. But there are many more nations, guys, that are suffering from this and suffering uh, uh, very badly, you know, uh, suffering a lot from uh, uh, this situation. And it's great that cryptocurrency has emerged at the time it has to kind of offer a solution going forward to deal with this, uh, you know, where where it can guard against uh, hyperinflation and and all these various uh, harsh realities that happens within governments and the political control of money and the landscape of politics. So, guys, uh you know, just want to bring an awareness to the topic, just trying to answer the call 
to what uh, I see, you know, what's been going on with these countries and uh, what our community can do uh, in regard to this. And I think we can do a lot. I think we're already on the right track to doing a lot. Um, the, 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 the whole approach and the, the whole structure of Electronium serves these needs. When we look at the money being injected into cryptocurrency, you know, several hundred billion dollars at a time, and it goes up and it goes down, and we're all kind of sitting back and we're going, well, you know, why isn't everybody just jumping on the boat? You know, especially nations in the West that have a lot of money. You know, why don't everybody just start investing in cryptocurrency? They can make this all this opportunity there. But the but the problem what is not there, specifically in the West, is urgency. Cryptocurrency just doesn't create enough urgency. Because and the reason it doesn't create enough urgency, specifically in the West, is because Conditions aren't harsh enough in the West. You know, when we talk about the, the printing of money and, and theft by taxation and we talk about, um, you know, uh, the Federal Reserve, for all of the information we bring forward and all of the points we make, the one point that isn't, isn't uh, coming over well is that Despite all this happening with that, we still live in fairly rich countries with uh, very valuable currencies. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to uh, create an uproar when things just aren't that bad. And when people are comfortable, they don't really make changes. It's only when they become uncomfortable, uh, you know, when the fire is put under their feet that they move and they have to make changes. And uh, if the governments are uh, tyrannical or cruel, that they will vote only at those stages. But they, but we do not have a call to urgency uh, unless th there are conditions like that. And making cases for cryptocurrencies right now, especially in the West or countries that uh, money systems still, still seem to work at this point in time, that credit uh, agencies still seem to work in in, um, uh, in in ways to transact and process money, uh, various systems that exist, PayPal, Western Union, <laughs> bank wires, the, the entire banking system as it exists today, it still is very much intact. People are very much um, still operating and uh, doing it quite well. And it's not a situation like Venezuela or Colombia or Zimbabwe or some nation like that where you're on the brink of economic collapse and you have no choice but to put your money somewhere other than the currency that your nation prints. And so until that happens, guys, the cryptocurrency space uh, for many of us, especially in the West, I believe is going to remain a great deal stagnant. And we may not see the growth rate into cryptocurrency like we've dreamed we'll see. You know, at this point in time, it's just a speculative device for people with money to make money for the most part. You know, this, isn't, this still isn't really speaking to the average citizen whose money drives the, uh, uh, the economy, right? You know, when we take the stock market and we take 401ks and we take shopping at Walmart, this is the entire nations of people and global people investing into the monetary economy. Uh, you know, they're doing it even if they aren't aware they're doing it. Where this is different from cryptocurrency, right? Whereas the average Joe who is the engine of the uh, economy uh, isn't investing in cryptocurrency because either he doesn't understand it, he doesn't feel the urgency or need for it, or he just simply doesn't have the money to invest, where it's a little bit different how it's set up in your uh, traditional monetary system, where again, if you, you work on a job, they have a, 
uh, 401k plan that's uh, simultaneously invested in the stock market and various things like that. So guys, in conclusion, these nations are the best use of cryptocurrency, right? Because their monetary systems have fallen and they need something like this. Their banking system has fallen and they need cryptocurrencies. And so at this point in time, as far as use case, the most urgency for cryptocurrency lies within them. So we need to create models to involve them in this greatly. And I think the marketing, most of it, much as Electronium is going forward and doing, is just that they Electronium hasn't started its largest marketing campaign as of yet. And unfortunately, uh, the people who live in these countries, they need help ASAP. Right. They uh, they need it now. They need it today. They need it yesterday, not in September, not at the end of the year. So, guys, just bringing awareness to this. I think this is one way we can do it by making Electronium a global use case for these nations in these countries around the world that are going to need something like Electronium more than ever. Uh, uh, we'll be glad to hear you guys' comments and ideas about ways to help uh, in these nations to help solve these problems uh, and to you know to hopefully be able to really deal with these economic issues at the root cause at the root cause of them or what's going to really be needed in order to to uh, help bring these countries out of this issue. Guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe. And until next time, take care.